Hi there, I'm John from cncri.com and today we'll talk about engraving stone. When it comes to laser engraving stone, there's a lot of things that affect the final result that we produce here at cncri.com. The first one I would suggest is how dense the aggregate is and the size of the aggregate. This stone is made, made up of a lot of little sand particles and those particles could be different kinds of stone. You have like marble and you have you know, a whole bunch of different ones. Here's one here, just to give you an idea. And this actually is engraved. You can't see it very well just because the aggregate is basically dark on dark. So it doesn't produce a very nice result. This one here is a far denser aggregate as you can tell by the difference. And this one you could clearly make out if the focus could get working here and this one you really can't at all. Now this one here is very dense, it weighs more than this one here. So again density of the material plays a very big effect especially on stone regarding the results that we can produce. There's a whole bunch of also different colors of stone. So I just went to the beach and I grabbed a whole bunch. So you can tell here the dark with the light gray comes out better than uh, this one here which is basically uh, very light reddish and the engraving is gray. So the contrast plays a large factor. Another thing that plays a factor, here's another stone, is the size of the engraving. The size of the engraving means that the larger area that we engrave, the easier it is for your eyes to see a contrast in what we engrave. As you saw in the field stone, because it still had live green stuff on it, and when we laser engrave onto it, we're vaporizing off the green and into the rock. So we're getting into the area that is not weathered. So generally weathering darkens the rock, at least from my experience here, engraving tons of rocks and stones and stuff like that. So when it comes to vaporizing off live stuff, it looked like a normal field stone, but after the engraving, you just add a bit of water and all the green just sort of pops out from the mosses which produces a really fantastic result. Now again, you have to maintain the rock to keep that effect, uh, but it's very easy to do to go into a forest and find stones that actually have live stuff on them. It does cause an issue when you're trying to ship stuff though. It's very easy to find stones just about anywhere in the world that you are. The challenge is finding relatively flat stones. Now the reason why flat is better is because if you think about the engraving, it's like a magnifying glass where the, uh, the light will go like this and to a central point. Now if there's a lot of curviness or that kind of stuff on the surface of the stone, it means that we have to pass over it several times in focus at certain depths in order to achieve a relatively consistent result. The nice thing about stone is that it is generally incredibly dense. So even if we got it out of focus, it doesn't produce much of a result. It has to be really dead on focus to produce a really nice engraving result. So what we'll do now, we'll take a look at a whole bunch of different kinds of stones uh, being laser engraved. So I'll just give you an idea of the variation. So for instance here, we have a flat stone 
and it is engraved. It's a little bit hard to see. Again, the focus has an issue with not much contrast here. We can sort of see it. There we go. Now I engraved this part here. If I were to engrave this part here, it would be definitely a not nice result because it's just not flat. So the focus is on the flat area. Same thing with this one here, as you can see. It's a relatively flat area. And this one here, I could have done the underside as well. So let's take a look at a whole bunch of different stones being laser engraved. One more thing we can do to the laser engraved stone that really makes the contrast pop and that is to make it look wet. I'll do a quick demonstration for you here. So here's a dry stone and you can see the engraving on it. There we go, we got the focus working perfectly finally. And now all I'll do is wet it 
and bingo, you have something that looks okay to something that looks amazing. Now this can be done with lacquer, this can be done with uh, acrylic seal, it can be done with anything. So here's another example, so the contrast is so-so, and I'll just wet it. And now you have something that looks really awesome. Let's do a different one. So this stone here, my hands are now wet, so you can see. So we'll just wet it. And now you have something that's very easy, very visible to see. Let's try another one. Here we have a regular stone, the engraving is on there. And again, the camera has trouble focusing on these things. But you notice that as soon as it gets wet, you can make out the contrast far, far better. And I think that has to do more with the shine that we produce. The challenge, the challenge is it shines a lot less where we engraved it and it shines more where it's not engraved. And therefore as a result, the contrast when your eye looks at it is a lot better. Let's just see if it does anything for this white one here. So you could sort of work out the engraving. There we go, now that I wet half the shop here. And a little bit better, but it's not the best result. What I tell customers generally is you want to get a stone that's relatively light in color. And those are the ones that produce the best results. Sizing doesn't really matter as long as it's flat. Uh, we could put a stone in our, in our machine if needed that weighs a couple hundred pounds and that's you know 39 inches by as many feet as you want. But again, that comes at extra costs, especially with shipping. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Uh, we did a wedding recently where we engraved all the stones. And that was a fun project. Um, the package weighed, I think, 100 pounds. So it was not cheap to ship. So again, another thing to keep in mind, um, if you can have one big stone or a whole bunch of little stones. It doesn't really affect price all that much. It's more the engraving uh, area that you're paying for. And because basically stones are everywhere, it's not, it's relatively cheaper, just free material. So if you're looking for stone engraving, contact me at cncri.com.